Our problem solving method this time is guess and check. And the problem we're going to be looking at for this is Zeke and Chloe reveal their ages. Chloe is two years less than four times as old as Zeke. Chloe is also one year more than three times as old as Zeke. How old is each? Oh my gosh, this just seems so difficult. So let's reread it and make sure that we have the key pieces of information that we need. Chloe is two years less than four times as old as Zeke. Well, I know that that's important, that Chloe is two years less than four times whatever Zeke's age is. We also know that Chloe is one year more than three times as old as Zeke. So I'm going to highlight that as well. Chloe is one year more than three times as old as Zeke. And we always need to identify what the question is asking for. So I need to determine how old each of these people are. As I'm getting ready to set up my guess and check, I'm going to use a chart to help me organize my information. And my first column should always be my guess number. Other columns will need to relate back to the problem. In this problem, I need to determine how old Zeke is and how old Chloe is. But which one do I guess first? If you look at the information in the problem, all the math is being done to Zeke's age. So it makes sense that I guess Zeke's age first. And from that, I can then figure out what Chloe's age is. So notice how I list these in order of how I'm going to guess them. And lastly, I need to ask myself, did my guess work? That should always be your last column when you're creating a guess and check chart, as I'm demonstrating here. Now, there is a bit of a hard part of this problem, and that's we don't know if Zeke and Chloe are kids or if they're adults. So when we make our first guess, it's just kind of a shot in the dark. Let's go ahead and guess that Zeke is 10 years old. If Zeke is 10, according to the first clue that says Chloe is two years less than four times that age, I need to do 10 times four, which is 40, and then subtract two. That would mean Chloe is 38. Now what I'm looking for in the second clue is that same age. And if it's not the same age, then my guess for Zeke is not correct. So the second clue says Chloe is one year more than three times as old as Zeke. So I need to do 3 times Zeke's age, which is 30. 10 times 3 is 30. And then add 1. That would be 31. Notice 38 and 31 are not the same numbers. And therefore, my guess of Zeke's age did not work. So I move on to guess 2. Typically, you should have a better idea of how to guess in the second guess. But I don't really know if I need to guess a higher age for Zeke or a lower age for Zeke. So I'm really just going to randomly guess. I'm going to try higher. If Zeke is 12, according to the first clue, that Chloe is two years less than four times as old as Zeke, I would do 12 times 4, which is 48, and subtract 2. That's 46. And if Zeke is 12, according to the second clue, Chloe is one year more than three times that age, so three times 12 is 36, plus one is 37. Again, these ages are not correct, so it didn't work. But I do want you to stop and notice something. The difference between 46 and 37 is nine. And in my first guess, the difference between 38 and 31 was seven. And if I need to find two numbers in Chloe's age that are the same, and my difference is getting further apart, then that indicates that when I went from guessing 10 to 12, I guessed in the wrong direction. So in guess 3, I now know that I need to guess less than 10 for Zeke's age. So maybe I would try 5. If Zeke is 5, the first clue says Chloe is two years less than four times that age. Four times five is 20, minus two is 18. And in the second clue, Chloe is one year more than three times that. So five times three is 15, plus one is 16. Wow, we're getting a lot closer now. The difference is two. Now the ages aren't the same, therefore it didn't work. But I know that I'm guessing in the correct direction now. Guess four. Maybe I would try that Zeke is 3. 
If Zeke is 3, according to the first clue, 3 times 4 is 12, minus 2 would tell me that Chloe is 10, and then the second clue, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. Notice we have now got 10 for both clues and telling us that Chloe's age is 10. So did my guess of Zeke's age work? It did. Remember that the question asks how old is each person. So at the bottom we always summarize our answer. And I now know that Zeke is three years old and I know that Chloe is ten years old. After you've summarized your answer, please put a box around it so that I can find it easily on your paper.